Today I'm showing you how to do this easy everyday wintry makeup using all drugstore products. If you are new to my channel, my name is Julie and I post mainly get ready with me videos focused on affordable drugstore makeup. I want to show you that you do not need to spend a lot of money to have really great makeup. And I also want to inspire you to love your makeup collection no matter how much you have. So if that resonates with you, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of our affordable beauty community here on my channel. I'm gonna go ahead and prime with the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. And I've really been enjoying this primer with the Believe Beauty Foundation. Like this and that foundation together, they're amazing together. Today I'm gonna use it with the Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint. And I finally went and picked up a slightly lighter shade um, so I could get like my perfect shade with this. Just gonna get this blended all over. So my summer shade is in 118 and I picked up 110 to mix with it. And like 110, as you can see, is pretty light. Let me hold them up here. So 110 is this one right here. And then this one here is 118. So, but I just find mixing these two, I get like the perfect color. And I do really enjoy this Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint. It has really good coverage and lasting power. Like honestly, I would not really consider this like a skin tint cause it's like, when you think skin tint, you think of a product that's like really lightweight that doesn't really offer much coverage, but this actually does. And I'm just using my Wet n Wild makeup sponge to blend this foundation onto the skin. As you can see, it is a good medium coverage. Like you can still see like a few little blemish spots peeking through, but for the most part, it covers really well. And then I'm gonna add just like a little bit more coverage to the center of my face. But it builds really nicely. That's what that product looks like. Just all blended out. I just really like the glow that this has. It is so pretty on the skin. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer for my concealer today. And I've been trying <laughs> to, with my concealers, to not apply much at all at first, and then if I need more, reapply. Cause I think I've just been applying too much concealer lately, and it's just really been gathering in, you know, my fine lines underneath my eyes. And I know like as we age, it's better to use less, especially concealer than more. Um, so I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful of that. And I have been using my finger to just kind of spread it out at first and just warm it up, work it into the skin and then go back with my sponge to just make sure everything's blended well. I'm gonna be using Rimmel Stay Matte and I like this so far just as much as my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable, which is really saying a lot because that L'Oreal powder has been a favorite for like years and years. And it's crazy because I know I've used Rimmel Stay Matte before, but maybe they've kind of changed their formula over the years or I don't know, maybe I just, didn't really give it a fair shot back in the day, but I do not remember liking it like the way that I like it now, but I've just been taking like a larger fluffier brush. Normally when I apply my powders, I do like a kind of a denser type of brush. I'm just using my dampened sponge and just getting some more of this powder on there and just taking it underneath the eyes. I've really been enjoying this to give my lips like a plumped look. And this does really feel spicy on your lips. So if you do not like that filling or if you don't like spicy foods, steer clear from this gloss. But I kind of oddly like the chili pepper pain. <laughs> I also find that this kind of brings more color to my lips with the chili pepper. Because I find that my natural lip color is kind of pale. So I feel like that kind of helps it out a little bit. Over the weekend, I purchased 
some makeup brushes off of Amazon and they're from this brand here, BS Mall. And it's an 18 piece brush set. And this set was super affordable. I wanna say that it was like around $10. I'm gonna have to double check cause I don't remember now. Okay, yeah, this brush set is normally $13.99 and they had it on sale for $9.89. So I don't know if by the time this video goes up if it'll still be on sale, but so it comes in a case. This is kind of just like a cheap plastic. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day and I don't know, maybe Sigma still has this, but in one of their brush sets, Sigma sewed a thing like this, but it was like a leather case, which was really nice. This is just cheap plastic, um, but it's pretty sturdy plastic. Like it doesn't seem flimsy, but this is all the brushes that it comes with. And I feel like for nine bucks for all of these brushes, it's a really great deal. And the brushes are extremely soft. At least the bristles kind of look like the BK Beauty brushes. I don't know because I don't own any of those. So I don't really know how like the feel compares. I will say that like the handles feel, feels like it could be plastic. Like maybe it is just like a really thick kind of plastic. This is metal here. And then like the only other thing is there are kind of some gaps like between the brush hairs. Let me see if I can show you. Between like the brush hairs and like the furl where most brushes, it's pretty tight in there. So maybe with that, having that little bit of gap, water and moisture could get kind of down in there. So I don't know how long these will hold up. Probably just have to be a little bit more mindful when washing them, but I feel like for the design and the quality of the actual brushes themselves, like the brush hairs, that non, like basically under $10 is a really great price for these. Overall, they seem nice. So I'm gonna be using some of these today to do my, my makeup. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted on how I feel about these long-term but I'm trying to find the one that's got the spoolie on it. I'm gonna use this for my brows today, the little spoolie part to brush through my eyebrows. I had asked you guys on the community tab on my YouTube page, and if you're ever curious how to get to the community tab, if you go to my YouTube channel, so click on my little picture down below and it will take you to my main channel page. And then like right below, like where it has like my picture and the description of my channel, there's like little tabs where it says like videos, playlist. There's a tab that says community. If you click on that, it will show like all of the like posts that I have put in there. And that should also show up on your subscription feed as well. If you go to like your subscription page, if you're subscribed to my channel. So I had asked you guys on the community tab, if you would be interested in me doing a video like where I did it completely silent and just did my makeup. And I know <clears throat> maybe that might be a little bit weird for me not to talk, but I thought that might be a relaxing sort of video. So just let me know in the comments if that would be something interesting. I mean, obviously it wouldn't be like the type of content that I would film all of the time. And then I'm gonna go with the gel and I'm just gonna brush my brow hairs up. I've really been enjoying this product again. I know in the past that this irritated my eyelid, so I had to stop using it, but so far it has not been irritating. And this is definitely by far my favorite eyeshadow primer from the drugstore. It works so good. It's definitely a dupe to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I had a few of you guys request that I do a makeup look where I did a more like white eyeshadow look, like a winter makeup look. So today I'm gonna be using the single eyeshadow from L'Oreal, one of their infallible shadows in Latte, or Iced Latte. And it's a beautiful cream such a beautiful color. So I'm gonna be using this all over my eyelid today. 
And first I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this all over the eyelid. And then I'm gonna go in with one of my little sponge applicators and I'm gonna take that shade up into the crease a little bit. And I'm also going to take some of it here like in this outer V area and like brush it over that way. I'm gonna go with a blending brush in this set. Just looks like that. That's the only thing about these brushes is they don't have like names on the actual brushes, but I'm just going around the edge. And this feels so soft on the eyelid. I really like the feel of these brushes. I mean, like for nine bucks, you cannot beat like the feel of the brush hairs. I'm gonna use the matte white cream color in this little palette. This is one of the Maybelline City Mini palettes in Chill Brunch Neutrals. But I'm just gonna go with that little sponge applicator and I'm just getting some of that shade on the sponge. And I'm just gonna blend that underneath the brow bone. And that shade is really pigmented, so it's like a little bit of that color goes a long way. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna take the little pencil brush in this set, and I'm getting some of Ice Latte on the tip of this brush, and I'm just going to brush that right here in the inner corner. And I'm also gonna take it here on the lower lash line, just all around the eye. And then I'm gonna take a white eyeliner, or if you didn't wanna take white, you could take a nude. And I'm gonna put this in the waterline. So for bronzer, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush and Just Because. I was telling you guys in one of my other videos that this is a dupe to the NYX Blush in Taupe. So if you've been looking for a good dupe to that blush, this is a good option. And I just love this for a cool toned contouring bronzer. So I'm just using this brush in the set, which is supposed to be the powder brush. But for me, this brush is a little bit small to be a powder brush, but I think it makes a really good bronzer brush. So I feel like it just blended that out so easily. And I'm gonna see how this works up along the hairline. Yeah, that actually blends really good along the hairline and also in the hollows of the cheeks. I think this might be like my new favorite <laughs> bronzing type of brush. And I'm just gonna blend a little bit of that on the sides of my nose. And I'll take a little bit here on the jawline. It might not be quite big enough to get like the neck really well, so I'm probably gonna use my large powder brush from Real Techniques. And I might just kind of go over the edges just to kind of make sure everything's blended well. For the blush, I really want a, like I was outside and my cheeks got really cold and they got really flushed. So I'm gonna use the CoverGirl, the Soft Mink Blush. And I think this just creates that beautiful flushed look. So I'm trying to figure out which of these brushes. I feel like all of their brushes that I would use for blush seem a bit dense. Like these might be really good for a cream blush application. I think this might be a little too dense for powder, but I'll give it a whirl and see how I feel about it. And I don't know, I guess it's not applying it terribly. I usually like a looser brush for applying powder blush 
but it doesn't look like it's doing it too concentrated. I'm gonna go back over that with my Sigma F40. This is one of my very favorite brushes for applying blush. Like the bristles are not dense at all in this, but I wanna create like a really flushed look today. Probably more flushed than I normally would. I feel that since, you know, the eyes are really light, you can go really heavy on the blush. And then I'm just gonna go back with my makeup sponge and just blend it out a little bit. And if you wanted extra highlight, you could apply highlight, but I'm gonna skip it today because as you can see, it's very highlighted. I'm gonna be using the Essence Fix and Last 18 Hour Setting Spray. I'm just gonna curl my lashes up and apply mascara. And you could totally do brown mascara with this if you wanted a more like lighter, natural look. But if you wanted something that's like really contrasted and is gonna stand out, definitely use a black mascara, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm just using the Essence Lash Without Limits in the black. And I'm just gonna apply several coats of this to my upper. And then for my lower, I'm gonna use the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes. Um, just because that doesn't smudge on my lower lashes. And then we'll come back and figure out what I'm gonna do with the lips. I would definitely say for myself, the longest thing that it takes me to do with my makeup is my mascara. I don't know why, but I take forever to do my mascara. Um, for lips, if you wanted to just be really natural with your lips, and if you did like this gloss, which I do think that Maybelline has another one that's not spicy, that's the same color. So I'll link that both this and that other one down below if you're not into like spicy, but this color looks really nice on the lips with like that really blushy blush. Today, I'm gonna use this Chapstick Total Hydration in Sunset Nude, which is kind of similar to that Maybelline color, but just, it has a bit more color. See that pairs so nice with the blush. Um, <clears throat> if you wanted it to be even darker, you could use a lip liner and then put that balm over top. But I almost feel like I could go in with more blush now. <laughs> That is this look completed. I think this is such a beautiful winter makeup look. I know we're kind of late in the game with a winter makeup look because now we're moving more into spring, at least hopefully. But I mean, this would also be a pretty look year round. It's very like snow white <laughs> type of makeup look, but I will see you all in my next video and I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Shouldn't doubt yourself cause you're a work of art